Hi y'all. This is gonna be my first YouTube video, which is gonna be a tutorial for how to make this sweater, aka my wavy sweater. Ignore the shoulder bumps. I haven't blocked this yet. We're gonna talk about that later. But I just wanna let y'all know that this tutorial is gonna be a kind of general outline of the pattern. I'm not gonna go into specifics for each size because this is more of a guide for those that have the pattern already because I know this pattern can be confusing and visuals are very helpful. So I'm gonna go into a little bit and describe the different type of stitch patterns you'll find in this pattern. So there are two different stitch patterns that will be in this pattern, the original wave and the modified wave. The original wave is gonna be for sizes small, large 2x and 4x and the modified waves are going to be the alternating sizes so medium extra large 3x and 5x now the sleeves for all sweater sizes are going to be using the stitch pattern for the original wave in this video i'm going to be making a size medium which is going to have the body of the modified wave and the sleeve of the original wave so anyone with any side will be able to see their stitch pattern being worked in this tutorial if you do end up making the sweater please tag me in any pictures that you make because i love seeing everyone's creation for this sweater i'm going to be using a karen cloud cake and my five millimeter hook you can use any kind of medium weight yarn or lightweight just keep in mind that you have to meet the gauge in order for this to work so let's talk about gauge. Um, so obviously, as with all projects, the gauge is recommended, but it's not, you don't have to do it. If you don't feel like doing a gauge, I would just recommend doing the first row of your sweater and just seeing how it fits. And if you like it, then good, go for it. Um, if you don't want to take that risk, then we're going to do a gauge here. So your gauge is going to be a chain of 48. And the pattern of this gauge is going to be the original wave. And now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. So this is gonna be the difference between the original wave and the modified wave. The original wave is going to have two double crochet side by side and then two skip one spaces before we get into the actual wave. Whereas the modified wave is going to have four skip one spaces before we get into the wave. Now we're going to do a double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, one, two, three, four, five two double crochets, one, two. So this is what our wave is gonna be like for all of them. Double crochet, double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, double crochet, double crochet. And now we're gonna go into our window spaces and keep in mind that for the original wave pattern, all your waves are going to be the same. Three, four, one, and then five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet, double crochet. So here's what it looks like. Our four window spaces, one, two, three, four. And we've got two double crochets here, five, two. Go back into our windows. So this is gonna be the repeating pattern throughout it all. If you want more detail, you can skip until I explain the sleeve for this pattern because the sleeve is the same pattern structure as this. Um, but I'm just gonna go all the way to the end and come back. So we're about to start the last wave for the gauge and I'm just gonna show you this real quick. So I've done my window spaces, one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna add a double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, double crochet. Now we're gonna skip one, double crochet, and then skip one, two double crochets. And that's gonna be the end of our gauge. This is row one of the gauge. This is what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna do eight rows of this. Um, and after you've done eight rows, it's gonna be three and a half inches tall and it's gonna be 9.5 inches wide. So just keep in mind while you do this that 
you can size up a hook, you can change your yarn, you know, you can change your tension, you can do all these different things. So I'm just gonna start by chaining 79. So I do have 79 chains here. And after this, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we're gonna double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. I like to go in the back bumps of my chains because it makes for a cleaner look in the end. Right now, we've chained three, double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our wave. You got windows, wave, window, wave, window, wave. So, now that we double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, we're gonna skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the following. So this is what our window spaces look like so far. We've got one, two, three window spaces, and now we're gonna make a fourth. So we're gonna skip the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and now we've got our four window spaces. And now we're getting ready to go into our wave. So one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. And then five double crochets in the next stitch. All right, that's five. Now we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. Then we're gonna put one double crochet in the next stitch. So this is gonna be our structure for our first wave. Our first and our last wave are gonna be the same for this modified wave stitch. And the middle waves are gonna be different. So for the first and the last wave, you're gonna have your double crochet, two double crochets in the next stitch, five double crochets in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet. Now, this is gonna be for the first and the last wave. The middle waves, like I said, are gonna be different. The middle waves aren't gonna have this increase of two stitches before and after the five stitches. So you'll see that when we get to, get to it. So I'm just gonna keep going. Now that we've done our first wave, we're gonna go into our window spaces. So we're gonna skip the next stitch, double crochet into the following. We're gonna do that four times. So one, two, three, and four. So in between every wave, you're gonna have four of these spaces. One, two, three, and four spaces in between each wave. So now we're gonna go into one of the middle waves. So after these four chain spaces, we're gonna double crochet in the next stitch five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're gonna double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. So you can see that this wave is already different from the first one, right? Where the first one we had a double crochet, an increase, five double crochets, an increase, double crochet. This one, we don't have this. We're gonna just have double crochet, double crochet, five double crochets, double crochet, and double crochet. So now this wave is the pattern for the rest of this row until we hit the last wave. So now we're gonna go back into our window. So we're gonna skip one, double crochet. We're gonna do this three more times. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. All right, one, two, three, and that's our fourth window space. So now we're gonna go back into the wave. We're gonna double crochet, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna do two double crochets, one, and that's two. So again, this is gonna be different from the first and the last wave. It's gonna be double crochet, double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, double crochet, double crochet. The way this is written in the pattern as two double crochets, five double crochet increase, two double crochet. This is what it's looking like so far. As you can see, the waves are starting to take place. 
The first and the last wave are always going to be a little bigger than the middle waves, just because of that extra increase before and after the five double crochets in one stitch. Now we're going to keep going. We're going to go back into our window spaces. You're going to skip one, double crochet, four times total. One, two, three, four. So now we're going to go back into our wave, double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch. Two double crochets. One, two. We've only got a few chains left. We're going to go into our last wave. So now, like I said before, the first and the last one are different. So after these window spaces, we're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, double crochet in the next stitch. And that's going to complete our last wave. And now we're just going to end off with some window spaces again. So skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, and in the last stitch, skip one and double crochet. All right, and now we've just completed our first row. Here's what it's going to look like. And we're just going to, for the next row, we're going to do a single crochet all the way across. And then we're going to repeat this single crochet all the way across, repeat the wave. And it's just going to repeat like that of a wave row, single crochet row, wave row, single crochet row. I'm going to pause here and go into a little more depth about these waves. So if you're missing stitches, the most common place that you're missing stitches is going to be in the wave itself. It's really easy to put four or six, you know, too many or too little crochets in that wave itself where you're supposed to put five. So that's the first place I would check. The second place I would check will be the windows themselves. Like I said earlier, it's really easy to not skip a stitch, to skip too many stitches, to not have enough windows, to have too many windows, etc. So when you're missing stitches, those are the first two places I would check. Now we're gonna start row number two. You can chain if you'd like. Um, you don't have to, it's really up to you. I usually don't like chaining when I do single crochet rows because I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna single crochet all the way across in this row. And I'm gonna weave in my tail as I go. So this row is pretty simple. I'm gonna cut it here. You're just gonna single crochet, put a single crochet in every single stitch all the way across. I'm gonna clarify that you are gonna put a single crochet in this chain at the end. And you will for all the repeating rows. You'll see when we come back that when we go into our next wave row, we're gonna chain three and that's gonna count as a stitch. So. Just a reminder, when you single crochet, single crochet into this chain as well. All right, now we've just single crocheted across the entire row. This is what it's gonna look like. I brought you in a little closer just so you can get a more close up view of what the wave rows are gonna look like. So to start row number three, you can do a multitude of things. What I originally have in my pattern is a chain three to represent the first double crochet. And once you do that, you'll skip one, double crochet, and just go into our our space is like normal. Um, for the sake of this though, I decided to change and do a stacked single crochet because I like doing that method now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my work without chaining and I'm gonna single crochet into the first stitch and now into this loop right here of my single crochet, I'm gonna single crochet again. And this just makes a nicer double crochet. I didn't know of this when I first wrote the pattern, so it just says chain three, you can do any way that you want. But now we're gonna go into our window spaces that we've got here. So we're gonna skip the next stitch. We're gonna double crochet in the third stitch of the row. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Now we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. One, 
two, five double crochets in this next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, one double crochet in the next stitch. So we can see how this wave is turning out. All right, so for both of these, we've got double crochet, two double crochets in the next stitch, five double crochets in the next stitch, two double crochets in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. So if you're counting number of stitches for this wave, it's gonna go one, two, five, two, one. One, two, five, two, one. Now we're gonna go into our window spaces before we get into the next wave. So we're gonna skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, and our last skip one, double crochet. Here are our window spaces, one, two, three, four, right? Right below the other ones, one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna go into our middle wave with a double crochet, then five double crochets in the next stitch, one, two, three, four, five, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. So again, this is gonna be different from our first one. So if we're counting number of stitches, the first one's gonna be one, two, five, two, one. The middle one's gonna be one, one, five, one, one. Double crochet, double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, double crochet and double crochet. Now we're gonna go into our window spaces again. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. And our last skip one, double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch, five double crochets in the next stitch. Two, three, four, five, double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, and skip one, double crochet. Double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch. Double crochet, double crochet. Now remember the first and last waves are gonna be different. So we're gonna put two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Now we've got our last set of windows. So skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, and our last stitch of the row, skip one, double crochet. Here's what it's going to look like. Here's our third row completed. This is when it gets really exciting because you can see it's starting to take shape. So again, you're just going to single crochet, wave row, single crochet, wave row, single crochet, wave row. And you're gonna do that until you get the length that you like. Essentially, it could be as long as you want, it can be as short as you want, and then come back and we'll start on the neckline. So now it's time for the neckline. Before you do your neckline, you're gonna finish on a double crochet row, and then just to generally describe what the neckline's gonna be, you're gonna single crochet a certain amount, it doesn't really matter. Then you're going to do your wave row after and then single crochet row back. And then that's gonna be your neckline, it's pretty simple. It doesn't really matter what stitch you start or stop on, it's really just up to you. So on the other panel that I made, I did 33 single crochet, so I just did the same thing. And I'm basically just going to do the wave. So I'm gonna start with a stacked single crochet or a chain three. All right, and now I'm gonna do my four window spaces. One, two, three, four. Double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch.
double crochet, double crochet. Now we go back into our windows. And sometimes it is hard to tell when you do this um, what step of the win of the wave stitch you're on, but it just takes a couple tries to figure out sometimes, because sometimes it's hard to tell when you're starting in the middle versus at the end. I'm gonna do two double crochets in one stitch now that I've done my windows. Five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Two double crochets in one stitch. One, two, one double crochet in one stitch. And now I'm gonna do my window spaces. One, two, three, and then the last stitch, four. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is single crochet back down this and then repeat this on the other side and that's gonna be my neckline. I'll come back once that's done. All right, now our front panel is done. This is what it looks like. I gave it a little bit of a tighter neckline this time. And I guess while we're here, we'll talk about blocking. So depending on the kind of yarn you, you have, you will need to block. As you can see mine, uh, this yarn I'm using is pretty structured. And so it's not supposed to bubble up like that. It's supposed to be expanded like this. So you may want to block depending on what kind of yarn you have. Now it's time for the sleeve. And as a reminder, the pattern for the sleeve, the stitch pattern is going to be the original wave and it's going to be the same stitch pattern for every single size. Now it's time to do the sleeve. Remember I'm doing the medium sleeve. I've just chained 60 and now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm gonna double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. And this is gonna be the start to our panel and the end to our panel. So the difference between this and the modified wave, you can already see, it's gonna be two double crochets side by side. Now we're gonna skip one, double crochet. Skip one, two double crochets. One, two, five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Two double crochets. One, two. So let's just take a moment to look at this. You can see how different this looks from our modified wave. At the beginning and end of each panel, you're gonna have two double crochets side by side, two skip spaces, double crochet, double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch, double crochet, double crochet. So like we did before, if we're just counting the amount of double crochets in each stitch, you're gonna have one, one, five, one, one. Whereas in the other one, at the beginning, you had one, two, five, two, one. In this one, you're just gonna have one, one, five, one, one. Along with that, for this stitch pattern, AKA the original wave, every single wave is going to be the same. So every single wave is gonna be one, one, five, one, one. So now let's continue on. We're gonna have our window spaces just like in the other pattern. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, two double crochets. One, two. It's gonna lead us into our wave. Five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet double crochet, window spaces again, skip one double crochet, that's one, skip one double crochet, that's two, skip one double crochet, that's three, skip one, two double crochets, five double crochets in one stitch, one, two, three, four, five, Double crochet, double crochet. All right, so these are what our waves are gonna look like. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit as we keep going so you can get a closer look. We're gonna go back into the windows. So skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, two double crochets, that's one, and two, five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Double crochet, 
and double crochet. And now we're just gonna repeat this. We're gonna go back into the windows, then go back into the waves. I'm gonna come back when I'm on the last wave and show you how that goes. So here's a look at the whole row. We're about to go into our last wave. So we're gonna double crochet, five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet, double crochet, and now we're gonna mimic the beginning. So we're gonna skip one double crochet, skip one to two double crochets. So that's one, and that's two. So like I said at the beginning, with this original wave pattern, at the end you're gonna have two skip spaces followed by two double crochets side by side at the end. And now in the next row, we're just gonna single crochet all the way across. So I'm gonna do that off camera, come back to go through this third row. All right, so I finished that single crochet row and now we're gonna start row three. I'm gonna turn my work and again, you can do a chain three to start this row, you can do a stacked single crochet. Whatever your preference is really, I'm gonna do a stacked single crochet because that's what I've been doing in this one. So there it is. Now I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the next one, double crochet in the following. Then another one, skip, double crochet. All right, and now we can start our waves. So we're going to double crochet in the next stitch. Five double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, five, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And there we go. That's our first wave. Now we're gonna go into the window spaces like usual. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. Skip one, double crochet. And skip one, two, double crochet. That's one, that's two. Five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, double crochet, double crochet. Let's go back into the windows, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, double crochet, skip one, two double crochets. Five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go into our windows again. Um, I'm gonna cut and come back for the last wave because we know what's going on. We go into our windows, waves, windows, and then we come back and show you the last one. Now we're about to start the last wave. So we've done our, th we've been so far three window spaces, one, two, three. So now I'm gonna do another one, skip one, two double crochets, one, two, now we're gonna do five double crochets in one stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet, double crochet. Now we're gonna end it just like we started it. Skip one, double crochet, and then skip one, two double crochets. That's one, and that's two. All right, very exciting stuff. Here we are, we've just finished row three. And now just like the body panel, as you can imagine, the rest of the sleeve is gonna be the same thing. So it's gonna be single crochet, wave, single crochet, wave, blah, blah, blah. I usually like to add a flare in my sleeve. So if you want to do that, what I would suggest is making the sleeve until it hits your elbow or your mid forearm and then coming back for the flare. If you don't wanna do a flare, just do this all the way down until it's the length that you want it. And then congrats, you're done. Um, so if you want the flare, just come back and I'll show you, but just continue like normal. Okay, so this is what your sleeve is gonna look like right until you get to the increased portion. So I'm just gonna verbally explain it real quick. So we've just finished a double crochet row and now we need to do a single crochet. And essentially to increase, all you need to do is increase by 12 stitches. So if you're not following the pattern, I would just count how many you have, do the math, figure out how to evenly space them as best you can. If you are doing the pattern, the pattern will say per size how many times you need to increase and how to space them out. So for the medium and the small, we're gonna do four single crochets and then increase. And then like I said, you just gotta figure out how to space them out. So I'm gonna do that. Three, four, and increase. 
So I'm gonna put two single crochets in this stitch, do four more, one, two, three, four, then I'm going to increase again. And essentially I'm gonna do that all the way down. And then you're just gonna continue the pattern like normal. So once I finish this increase row, I'm gonna repeat this original wave stitch. It's just gonna have one more wave. So instead of five waves, it's gonna have six. And then what I usually like to do is I like to continue with this new increase row twice and then increase once more. And again, on the second increase, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna just add 12 stitches. And again, refer to the pattern for the specific amount or you can do the math to figure it out on your own. So for mine, again, for my sleeves, I like to increase twice. I like to do an increase, two wave rows, and another increase, and then two wave rows. But you can do this however you want. You don't have to increase at all. You can increase three times. You could increase every single row, whatever you want. I'm not gonna show this on camera just because it's a pretty simple part of the pattern, but I'm gonna show you what the sleeve looks like after the increase. So this is what my second sleeve looks like. As you can see, it's increasing. Um, again, I need to block this one. So instead of being all bumpy like this, it's gonna be more stretched out. Um, but I just wanna point out to you a couple things. So you can see this row is where I've increased. And I'm gonna zoom you in. It looks off, right? This kind of matches up, but this wave doesn't match up. This wave doesn't match up, blah, blah, blah. This is totally fine. This is totally normal. Don't worry about that. Um, and same for the second increase. When you increase the second time, it's not gonna match up perfectly. You really don't need to worry about that. When it's on your body, post blocking if needed, it's gonna look completely normal. So you see, if I were to block this and get rid of the bump, it would look completely normal, even though the waves don't match up. So don't worry about that. And just continue on increasing if you'd like to, to create that nice bell flare sleeve. So when thinking about assembly, I just wanna point out, you know, what you're supposed to do is assemble your pieces wrong side together and then flip it inside out so it's right side out. But sometimes with this pattern, it's kind of hard to tell what's right and wrong side. So when looking at it, you're gonna to wanna to look at the single crochets. On the right side, which is this side, the single crochets are very prominent. And if you flip it over, you can't see the single crochet rows as well. So this is just something to think about. Like if you compare them, these single crochets are really prominent and these single crochets aren't. So therefore this is the wrong side and this is the right side of your sweater. So let's talk assembly. Assembling this sweater is gonna be pretty simple. Here are my four pieces, sleeve, front, back, sleeve. Just like any other sweater, it's gonna be simple. You're gonna start by sewing along the neckline areas of the sweater. You're gonna sew the sleeves shut into cylinders, and then you're gonna sew up the sides of the sweater, leaving room to attach the sleeves. And that's pretty much it. You can use any kind of sewing method that you like. You can actually sew, you can do single crochets, you can slip stitch it, whatever method you want. Some people have questions on how to know how much room you need to attach the sleeves. Essentially, this is what I do. I just sew up the side and I lay the sleeve down like this to kind of measure how much room I'll need to attach the sleeve. And then from there, when you actually attach the sleeve, what you can do is count all the stitches around on your base of your sleeve and then all the stitches around on the hole you've left on the body to see how it's gonna match up and do the math in order to have it spaced out evenly. Hi guys, thanks for watching my first YouTube tutorial. I'm sorry about the end with the sewing. I did have footage of me actually sewing my sweater up, but the footage was lost somehow, I'm not quite sure. I'll link some sewing tutorials in the description if you want some more information on how to sew your sweater up. But thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I hope this tutorial was helpful to give you more information on how the wavy sweater pattern works. Thanks guys.